What's up guys, my name is Steven Jones from Bag Buff and today I am going to talk about what is a standard seam allowance. Now, seam allowances can vary. When I do bags, my preference is to always use a 3 8 inch seam allowance unless I can't, and then I'll change. Other common seam allowances are quarter of an inch, 5 8 7 inch, and one inch. But the most common you're probably gonna see is quarter and 5 8 Now, for those of you not in the States who are using metric because we're crazy on this Imperial system, 3 8 is 10 millimeters, uh, 5 8 is 15 millimeters. And those are probably gonna be the standards. Now there's a couple ways to manage your seam allowance as you're sewing your project, in this case probably bags if you're watching me. Uh, and they actually make plates for industrial machines and, and domestic machines that actually have the seam allowance marked on them. So this one has quarter inch, half inch, and three quarter of an inch. So you just replace that plate and it has it engraved into it so that you can always align your, your panels to the edge of that and know that you're getting the perfect seam allowance. Now, because on my machine, this, this plate is actually made for a drop feed and I have a needle feed for my standard machine. I, what I did is I took a piece of tape and I took my plate, I put the tape on there and I took a very small ruler uh, that was very unobtrusive that I could fit in. I aligned it with my needle because that's where the stitch is going. And I just marked with a pen the seam allowances that I needed. So that is another method that you can use. Now, fortunately for me on this machine, uh, I know that the edge of my foot is actually right around 3 8 of an inch. If I leave the fabric just off by like half a millimeter off of the foot, that's how I know I'm on a 3 8. So I don't even need to use this plate anymore. Uh, so what I recommend is you get very familiar with your machine and the feet, because they vary, you're gonna change feet and your seam allowance might change if the feet edge is different. And just know where your seam allowance is judging by your eye and the foot and the plate and just different reference points that you can find on the machine. Pro tip for those of you who have never heard of a compensating foot, this is really cool. Now I bought a bunch of these cause I'm obsessed and I only use compensating foot. I actually don't think I ever use any other foot. I actually don't think I've taken this foot off probably in a couple of years. And that is, I think a one eighth inch compensating foot. And that's for my top stitches. Now you'll see on this foot that I actually have the primary part of the foot that's static, it doesn't move. And then there's a part that's attached to a spring and it does move. And what it does is there's a gap between the needle and the edge of the spring part of the foot that I know is one eighth of an inch. So if I'm, if I set a seam and then I turn it over and I go to top stitch and I just align the edge of the fabric with that spring side of the foot, I know that I'm getting a perfect one eighth stitch every single time. So I highly recommend looking into compensating feet. Uh, I'll try to post some info in the comments below or in the notes below. That is my overview. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer as fast as I can. If you guys wanna check out other videos, there they are. Feel free to subscribe. And if you're interested in bag patterns or learning more, check out bagbuff.com.